The M142 HIMARS, the high-mobility artillery rocket system supplied to Ukraine by the United States, have become a symbol of Russian vulnerability. It is a platform loaded with multiple rockets that can be fired in short succession. The HIMARS is a particularly sophisticated version, each carrying either one half dozen guided rockets with a range of around 40 miles, or a single army tactical missile system, which has a range of almost 200 miles. By contrast, the M777 Howitzer Cannon, one of the most advanced U.S. artillery pieces on the battlefield in Ukraine, has a range of less than 20 miles. The HIMARS payload is powerful enough to inflict damage on par with aerial bombardment. On a tactical level, the HIMARS munitions are very effective for hitting fixed targets at long range but are less suited for broad strikes against infantry or artillery. That means they'll be less effective as part of an eventual Ukrainian counteroffensive in the south or east of the country. HIMARS' relation to other rocket-based systems is like what laser-guided bombs have with older air-drop unguided gravity bombs. Other rocket-based systems are area weapons that usually required large amounts of rockets to be fired to cause damage while in the case of HIMARS its guidance makes it a deadly system. Previous rocket launcher systems were known for being destructive but also crude and inaccurate. The biggest technical leap in recent years has been the development of precision-guided rockets, which use GPS tracking to hit specific targets at great distances. Even in real-time scenarios a small UAV can provide coordinates to this system and cause huge losses to an adversary. HIMARS system mainly protects itself tactically by having shoot and scoot capability, referring to the fact it is a highly mobile weapon system that can fire and retreat at speed, reducing the chance of being targeted by the enemy counter-battery fire. As it is a truck-mounted multiple launch rocket system with a container with six rockets, it can move into position, fire, retreat, and reload in a matter of minutes. Another defensive measure that has mainly emerged recently is the use of dummies and inflatable decoys to deceive the Russian attack and reconnaissance assets. These measures greatly reduce the capability of Russian systems to precisely locate and destroy HIMAR batteries in the war zone theater. In recent clashes, several Russian bases and warehouses were attacked in the Kherson region by HIMAR batteries. Its main objective is to knock out the Russian forces supply chain by carrying out strikes on key passing routes including bridges, railway stations, and ammunition depots. HIMARS is neither a miracle weapon or the battlefield newcomer that will ultimately determine victory in this war. Russia can counter such systems with a proactive approach by deploying more reconnaissance assets and through quick response on the locations from where HIMAR launches its projectiles. The plus point for Putin is that currently HIMAR numbers are very low, with only two dozen in service with Ukrainian forces, and can be neutralized easily. But for now, it's fair to say that it's shifting how both sides view what's possible on the battlefield. And for many Ukrainians, that's something to be praised about.